guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i dye my wig jet black and how i avoid staining my lace if you want to learn how to achieve this then please keep on watching now the wig that i'm installing today the wig is from asteria hair it's deep wave 30 inches pre-made wig all the info will be included in the description box down below so make sure you check that out so guys i've actually had this wig for about a couple months now and i bleached the knots a while ago and it looks a mess i over bleached it the knots are very very orange it's literally giving pumpkin and i'm not here for it so i was just like you know what i'm gonna dye the whole thing jet black and fix the knots as well and i'm gonna show you guys how i do all that so what i'm doing right now is i'm going in with some got to be free spray because i want this to be well protected when i go in to dye the hair so the spray is hairspray it's gonna make it hard it's gonna make it really hard for that dye to go through and touch the lace and i went in twice with my hairspray so i did like two layers and you want to go in with the blow dryer to dry the hairspray so it's really nice and hard and to dye the hair i'm using ion intensive black 1n now the wig is originally like a 1b so it's not like a very dark intense black it's like a natural black but i wanted a jet black hair i haven't done a video on how to jet black it's pretty simple the only thing you got to worry about is the lace but once the lace is protected you don't have anything to worry about so I apply the dye all over the wig and then when I get to the very top you guys you want to make sure you're not too heavy handed go a light handed not too heavy handed that way you are protecting the lace and none of that dye is touching the lace. I've used this hair dye a lot of times when I do box dyes it's one of my favorite because it has a thicker consistency so it doesn't really um, stop the lace of the wig it doesn't seep through very easily and that's what I like about it. it's not very runny so it's very easy to work with. All right, so now that the hair is all done dyeing, I'm gonna leave it on for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off off camera, shampoo and condition the wig and voila, it looks amazing. And we don't have the orange crazy looking knots anymore. So I'm all here for that. It looks great and no stains. Look at that lace, nice and clean. Moving on to application, I'm doing the ball cap method today. I have a very detailed video on how I do the ball cap method. I will just link that video down below. So I'm gonna go in with some foundation, apply it all over my ball cap and also on my wig to tint that lace a bit so it matches my skin tone. Like, look at that, jet black, it looks good, I'm here for it. And we're gonna be going for a center part today. Now, I already tweezed the wig up a bit, but I'm gonna go in and tweeze some more. So now I'm cutting off the extra lace that we don't need. So I cut the air section off first, and then I like to cut my wig in sections. You guys already know this if you've seen my installs. It's usually the same thing. I like to cut in sections, apply the glue in sections. So I'm just gonna go in with some lace glue, apply that to my forehead area, go in with my blow dryer, and repeat the same step because I do two layers and then I'm gonna go in my blow dryer again and we are gonna melt it down on a cool setting and I'm gonna take my eyebrow razor and cut away all that extra lace I'm really loving the hairline on this wig by the way like it looked pretty pretty good the glue is looking nice and melted on the forehead area so we're gonna do the same thing on the side as well I go in with my rat tail comb you want to wait for the glue to dry clear it seems like I didn't wait but trust me I did it's just edited and I'm gonna go in with the blow dryer again and I'm gonna go ahead and melt down that lace and cut away all that extra lace now as you can see I'm gonna go in with some melting spray you can also use the got to be free spray this one is actually by me and it's coming out very soon I'm just testing it out but it will be launching very soon you guys and I'm very happy with it and I hope you guys like it when it comes out but yeah we'll talk more about that but anyways I'm just melting that wig down and she is looking nice and melted now I'm gonna repeat the same steps on the other side as well cut away all that extra lace and add some glue on the side and she's looking good now that hairline does look a little dense but we're gonna fix that as you can see I'm gonna go in with my tweezer and tweeze behind that hairline so it has a more realistic hairline I do have very detailed videos on how I tweeze my hairline so I'll link one of those videos in the description box down below you guys know I don't love a lot of baby hairs but with curly hair I feel like it's a must but not too much I like to keep it natural and you know not too extra but whatever you want to do that's your business who cares so I'm gonna go in with my hair moves and I'm just going to brush these edges down and this is just gonna really help to melt down my wig and the hair mousse I use oh my gosh what brand is this I don't even remember 
I'll put it in the description box down below. So I'm just gonna go in with a whole lot of hair mousse and I'm gonna apply it all over the hair to have the curls looking nice and defined. I will tell you one thing about curly hair that I don't love, it does shed, okay? So curly hair, you are gonna get some shed in. Um, so when I was pulling on the hair, some of the hair was coming out, but it wasn't really like super bad, but it's expected with this type of hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Once you put the hair mousse on it, do not brush it, just leave it alone, let it be. So now I'm gonna take my elastic bland, elastic bland, elastic band, girl, and I'm gonna go ahead and tie this wig down. I usually I tie it down for like 10 minutes, but I went ahead, stepped off camera, did my makeup, and she is feeling herself. Honestly, this curly hair was giving me life. I was here for it. I'm just gonna go in with the edge brush just to fix up them baby hairs a bit because they're looking a bit like adult hair right now, and I was not here for it, so I went ahead and I cut them a bit more. And honestly, guys, like I said, I am not the best when it comes to baby hair, but I do like them to be as natural looking as possible. And I'm just going to go in the mousse and fix them up a bit. But honestly, I was really feeling the jet black. I don't really wear jet black a lot. I usually just do natural black, but I think I'm convinced for the jet black. I'm here for it. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you for watching. Bye.